Hello, welcome back. In this segment, I will give a quick demo of RET instruction. This is the RET instruction. So what I'm going to do is just start a simple assembly code here, right? I have push zero and then RET. Of course, this is going to crash and we will understand the meaning of RET along the way. Okay, I already compiled this code and linked it. So I will just directly load it into GDB, right? And show you the same assembly code we just saw. Push zero to the stack and then performing a RET. Okay, let me put a breakpoint at the instruction RET. Run it. And we are about to run the red statement. Let's look at what is on the top of the stack. We would expect zero to be on the top of the stack because we just did a push. Okay. Yeah, you can see zero is on top of the stack. And uh, the question now is what will happen if I go ahead and continue the red statement, right? Okay. We can see zero cannot access I cannot access memory at address zero. Okay. This is interesting. Why do we get zero as the address of the next instruction? The reason is that on top of the stack, we have zero because we just did a push. A ret essentially jumps to the address that is mentioned on the top of the stack. Okay. Uh, you can also view red as follows. You can view red as uh, pop EAP, pop EAP. Okay. So what will be there in the EAP? EAP register will have zero because on top of the stack, we put zero here. Okay, that is the reason EAP has zero and zero is not a valid address apparently and therefore the program uh, um, gave us a warning, a error message, cannot access memory at this. Okay. So now we can go ahead and uh, modify this and try with a meaningful address on top of the stack. And when we execute red, the control should go to that particular address because EEP is essentially transferring the content from the top of the stack. Okay. All right. Uh, let's move on to the change that I just talked about. What I'm going to do now is get a meaningful address from the assembly. Let's say I'm going to copy this address. We will see whether it will work um, by modifying the <clears throat> push statement. Okay, we will compile and link. Okay, luckily this number is still the same. As you can see, we can look here, uh, but the instruction has changed. <laughs> okay. I I wanted to start with move one to ex, so I should change the number to this number instead of five ef. It should be five ea. Let's go back and change this five ea. Yeah, five ea corresponds to the move one ex. So let's now run this code. We should be able to execute the statement at the address ending five ea. Okay, let's run it. What should be on top of the stack is just the value that we just pushed. Yeah, same value that's on the top of the stack. And if we run red, red means uh, the stack pointer will go up by four bytes. That means plus four will be added to the stack pointer. Instead of AC, we will have B0 and Furthermore, EEP will have this value, the one that is ending at 5A. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, you see here, the step instruction is going to run the 804805A instruction. Okay, because as I said earlier, EEP was just copying whatever we put here. Okay, 
Uh, let's get out of this. One more small change. Let me introduce a, a dummy statement here. Just yes, no, it will not be executed. It's like a dead code. <clears throat> we will say to do dx. Possibly this will have impact on the other address, so I have to compile and recompile. Let's see. We will first load it into GDB. Okay. So I need to go and change it to 5F because I, I wanted to skip the statement. Yeah, let's do that. 5F will be better now. Compiled, now link. Load it into GDB. And then I will put a breakpoint at the red, right? Run this. We can look at top of the stack. It is pointing to 5F. That means next instruction to be executed is this because red means take the top of the stack content and jump there. Okay, that's basically red is. So if you now, if I now press SI, right? You see here, I am skipping the move to, to EDX statement because it transferred to 4805F, the address ending at 4805F. Okay, so that's basically red. Red means take the top of the stack content, yeah, and transfer the con control over there. You can, as I hinted earlier, you can also uh, view red means pop the top of the stack to EAP, that's the actual meaning. Okay, EAP register will have whatever on the top of the stack. Okay, so let's do one more senseless thing. <laughs> it's good to do some senseless things to learn. Okay, let us go here, right? And put some arbitrary address here. Let's say A, B, C, D, yeah. Uh, E, F, A, B. So this is very likely going to crash. One byte, two byte, three bytes, four bytes, okay. So we will see whether this is crashing or not. We will compile. We will link and then GDP will start. And if I just put a breakpoint before the red runs, yeah. And then look at the top of the stack. It must have that A, B, C, D, E, A, B. Same thing that we programmed. Uppercase, lowercase doesn't make uh, any difference in, in terms of hex values. So it's the same thing. And now the program will crash. You can see it's going to, it's crashing because A, B, C, D, E, F, A, B cannot cannot access memory at that address. So it's not a valid address. But the point is that EEP, right? EEP has whatever on the top of the stack. Yeah, that's basically how RET works. RET just takes whatever on the top of the stack and transfers the control there. Okay. <clears throat>